Hi, good morning. Today is May 10th, which means that it's Mother's Day today. So if you have someone special in your life, tell them how much you love them. Maybe you draw them a nice picture. So right now we have a story for you from Ollie and a Bible verse from Romans. It says, nothing at all can separate us from God's love. So enjoy your story. Just one more lemon squeeze should do it. Oh, hey friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and I'm making something super yummy today. Can you guess what I'm making? That's right, lemonade. I'm helping my clubhouse friends with the lemonade stand. And what do we need for a lemonade stand? Why, the world's best lemonade, of course. My Aunt Ming sent me her best plan to follow. It's her world famous lemonade recipe. I've already squeezed some lemons. So sour. And add the secret ingredient, maple syrup. Mmm, so sweet. And now all we have to do is add one more lemon and some water. Can you help me? Great, let's do it. Let's squeeze this lemon to the pitcher. Stir three times. One, two, three. 
And now we have to add four cups of water. Can you help me? Great. One, two, three, and four. Great job, everyone. Aunt Ming will be so proud. Now all we have to do is stir it and we'll be all set. I can't wait to try the lemonade. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. Making some lemonade, are you? Hey, Ollie. I sure am. I made my Aunt Ming's best lemonade recipe. I followed her plan and I'm doing everything it says. That's a great plan. It's true. I know about an extra special plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. There we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one, so I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then, her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther! God had a plan for Esther, and God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Esther, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God has a plan for us, just like he had a plan for Esther. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! It's always good.
good to have a plan, and God's plan is the best plan. I'll see you next time. Bye. Wasn't that a good story, friends? We love seeing Ollie, and we love seeing you. Hopefully, we'll get to do that very soon. So remember, nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Even when we're not seeing each other every week, God's love is still there, and you can still feel it every day. We hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your Mother's Day.